morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, this is the Singapore FinTech Festival satellite event. As a leading global FinTech hub and one of the top 10 FinTech hubs in the region, the DIFC is proud to be the only satellite partner for the Singapore FinTech Festival this year. Thank you all for joining us today. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Alia Zaroni, EVP of Operations here at DIFC Authority. Thank you all so much. I don't remember the last time I was in a room with this number of people. So it's good to be back, of course, with all the precautionary measures in place. So I have my mask with me. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And good afternoon to those who are joining us online from Singapore and the rest of the world. My name is Alia Zaroni, and I'm the Executive Vice President of Operations at the GIFC Authority. On behalf of Dubai International Financial Center Authority, I'm pleased to welcome you all to the Impact Summit, one of five global events taking place in a new hybrid format as part of the Singapore FinTech Festival. We are pleased to be selected as a host for one of the five satellite events that are ha happening in other hubs across the world as part of the FinTech or the Singapore FinTech Festival, the largest and the most inclusive celebration for FinTech in the world. It makes perfect sense to select Dubai, of course, because Dubai and DIFC is a top 10 FinTech hub. It is the leading global financial center in the Middle East, Africa, and South Asia region. I also have to mention that the principles of innovation technology and growth sit at the core of DIFC operations, mission and vision to shape the future of finance. I also have to mention that DIFC was the first to establish a FinTech accelerator in this region and always welcome startups from all around the world to join the FinTech Hive accelerator programs and to become part of our ecosystem. And I'm happy to say that Singaporean startups are also represented. So coming back to the festival today. So as I mentioned earlier, it is the largest event that brings together tech startups, uh, established tech companies, financial institutions, investor, uh, investors, innovation professionals, regulators, and many others to discuss topics to drive the industry forward and to also imagine how will the future of finance look like. This year, which is the fifth anniversary of SFF, is, uh, or the theme of this year is People and Talent and the Impact Summit will champion technology as a force for good. We want to advance inclusion, connectivity, and sustainability in FinTech and celebrate those who have used or harnessed the power of innovation to overcome the unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the ongoing challenges presented by the pandemic across the world, it is important to allow insightful discussions like these to happen in person or virtually so that the rest of the world can see it. I would say that last year FinTech was important. This year, and I'm sorry for throwing out a random number here, FinTech might be 10 times more important. FinTech is no longer about um, adding convenience, improving the transaction processing time. It's about saving economies and saving lives. We all believe or we believe that FinTech can aid recovery in this field. And we're also looking forward to participating in many conversations that will trigger positive solutions to support growth. We know that FinTechs want uh, forward-looking regulations, regulations that embrace innovation, subsidized commercial licensing, they are startups, enabling accelerator programs and access to funding. We also know that fintechs, just like any other business, need a robust legal and regulatory framework and a business-friendly environment, such as a common law jurisdiction, aligned with international business practice. Fintech, fintechs will find these and many more in Dubai and the DIFC that is very much aligned with the Singapore approach. And I have to say that today, 50% of all fintechs in GCC are actually based in the DIFC. And as I mentioned earlier, a number of Singapore firms have already joined the DIFC FinTech Hive cohorts during the last past two years. And I'd like to mention a few names here. Intain, an AI-powered solution that classifies and digitizes documents. Crayon Data, a cloud-based AI markup language platform. Synopsys, a rec tech startup that focuses on KYC, KYB, and AML, and FOMOPay, a digital payment platform. As well as startups, DIFC is home to other 
financial institutions from Singapore, such as DBS Bank, which joined the IFC in 2006, and the Bank of Singapore, which opened its regional headquarters in DIFC back in 2017. Finally, I want to say that fintech ecosystem cannot be complete without enabling and nurturing relationship between those fintech startups and traditional financial play players. Of course, we all agree that startups can develop solutions, innovate faster and cost effectively. So it makes sense for these two to work together. This is an opportunity and there are many other endless opportunities for fintechs in Dubai, Singapore, and the rest of the world. We all need to capture the opportunity and work together to shape the future of finance. Thank you all for joining us today. I look forward to many engaging discussions and have a good day.